Good morning. What we have here is a Harley Davidson CV carburetor. What we're going to do is this fuel inlet. Drag specialty sells the part. What goes on with these older bikes, this will be a vinyl inlet. It will be brass underneath and then vinyl. What happens is it gets a hairline crack. Take a close look. If you're leaking gas and your bike has the vinyl inlet, they get fatigued from removing the gas line, putting it on, and you will get a hairline crack. What I'm gonna do is a quick little video to show you how to remove this. And it's a very common problem on most carbureted Harley Davidsons. I should say on all Harley Davidson carbureted bikes. If it has a vinyl inlet, you will be replacing it. And that's just a fact. You'll notice this right here with a 10 millimeter, it's square and it fits right in. What I'm gonna do is place this in a vise and just pull it off. Now this is a machine fit. So what I'm gonna do is remove it by putting it in the vise and pulling up. I'm gonna use a touch of this penetrating oil and let that sit for a minute or two. It will, it, it probably don't help, but you know what? It can't hurt. With that, I'm gonna mount it in the vise. Don't go all the way up, so. Now you see it's in the vise. Now this vise is mounted onto a wood block. That's how common this is, that I set this up to remove it. I'm just gonna stand on the block. Twist it, and there you go. That wasn't too hard. Put your carburetor aside. Now all it is is a vise from Harbor Freight, and I mounted it to this piece of wood. And I do occasionally work from this, because now I can move the vise to wherever I want to work. It's a nice little vise to have around the garage. It's not like I have a big shop, but uh, these inlets could be a big problem. Now I'm going to show you how to install it. There it is. With the vinyl one, you can even remove it, but it's a lot harder. You can even remove it with a pair of ice grips. All right, with a big set of ice grips, you could do the same thing, but it's harder. By me standing on this, it's pretty easy. With the vice grips, you're gonna earn it. With that, I'm gonna get the carburetor. Now how to install it. Be conscious of this angle. Some people will put this in their freezer overnight, and that helps. That's the way I first used to do it. I'd put it in the freezer, a little dab of grease, nothing serious. Here's my carburetor. Now you'll see this is a machine fit, so it's slightly tapered. Now you know how your bike is, how this came off. This isn't complicated, now that we have it that far. Now I'm holding this. Slight taps. Make sure you have it at the right angle. You can take a 10 millimeter and turn it. That's pretty much where it needs to go. Now drive it all the way.
You see? Now that's installed. If you have any questions, just ask. And uh, I felt I would do this video to help out a lot of people. You could go to some of these dealers and they'll tell you to buy a new carburetor when this is just a machine fit. You could buy this online, eBay, for no more. You could buy it online, eBay, for no more than $10. Drag Specialty sells them. I'll write down in the description the part. And like I said, if you have any questions, just ask. Anybody could do this. It's not that complicated. But when that leaks gas, it's a pain. Now, the original one, the vinyl will break off. You'll remove the vinyl, and you'll see there'll just be a circle. With that, use the vice grip or the vice, tighten it down, put a little penetrating, and just take your time. You got to remember, I'm standing on this block, and I could get that perfectly centered. If you have any questions, just ask. If you could, leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up, have a great day, and ride safe.